Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Today I was supposed to cover GS9722. I'm going to talk about GS9722 in brief, uh, but I have more positive news for you. And um, some of you might already be aware of this because you are uh, constantly watching for information. Uh, those of you who are not aware, you'll find it pleasantly surprising and very, very optimistic. So with that said, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Just to quickly remind you, we were looking at the HIV virus and we were going through each of these um, BNA bases one at a time. And we have done PGDM1400, uh, we have done PGT121, and then we had done 10-1074-LS. Today, it's the turn of GS9722. But it seems that GS9722 is an engineered version of PGT-121 designed to have a longer half-life. So there isn't much to say, but I decided to investigate further and, uh, and look at uh, where it is with regard to uh, its progress. It seems that Gilead Biosciences is the company that, is, uh, that has been working on this broadly neutralizing antibody. So I decided to go and have a look at the uh, pipeline and the website of Gilead Sciences to find out where it is because it had done phase 1b and after that there has been no news since 2020. So I thought let's go to the company itself and see what is happening. Because one of the problems for content creators like me who are looking for information on HIV is that many companies do not inform us if they are discontinuing. There is no reliability that we will know if they discontinue a therapy or we'll know if they announce a new therapy which is getting into clinical trials. So I went into the website and it seems that I couldn't find any information on, uh, on, uh, on this therapy. So I thought, let us look at the pipeline, let us look at the research page. I'll share that with you and that's where my optimism comes up. Even you can go into the Gilead Sciences pages and this is the web website of Gilead Sciences. I've gone into science and medicine in that I selected pipeline and here I am. And I'm going to select HIV alone out here in the virology area. And that gives me a list of all HIV therapies that Gilead is working on, out of which Lenacapavir, Purpose 1 and 2, as well as Artistry 1 and uh, Artistry 2 are in Phase 3. There is good news about Artistry 2. Um, which is HIV treatment for virologically suppressed uh, uh, people uh, and uh, who are treatment experienced and virolog virologically suppressed people living with HIV. Now there is a press release out here. Uh, you will find that in the press release section where they are saying Gilead's twice yearly lenacapavir demonstrated 100% efficacy and superiority to daily Truvada for HIV prevention. Uh, first phase 3 HIV prevention trial ever to show zero infections. Independent Data Monitoring Committee recommended that Gilead stop the blinded phase of the Purpose 1 trial at the interim analysis and offer open-label lenacapavir to all participants. So that's what we have as of June 20th, 2024. And this was the uh, top-line Purpose 1 uh, data. Uh, and I think this is really good news. Let us get back into our uh, pipeline and uh, look at just the HIV therapies that they're working on. So lenacapavir is already a success story and long-acting HIV treatment for virological suppressed people living with HIV is another phase two trial for lenacapavir uh, that is continuing uh, without any uh, setbacks. So there is a whole a series of lenacapavir uh, trials, some with um, combination therapy like uh, zinlinivimab and uh, teropavimab. And we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different uh, uh, BNABs that are being uh, tested by uh, Gilead and many of them are in phase one. So there is plenty of opportunity for uh, Gilead to come up with more cure and more ART. So that's the positive news out here. So GS9722 uh, is supposed to adhere to the V3 super site and inhibit uh, HIV. And the way uh, it works uh, is by attaching to the HIV envelope protein and then triggering the immune systems to destroy the infected cells. And the stage of development as of 2020 was that it was in phase 1b clinical trial, which meant that it was being tested for safety and dosage in a small group of people. And it was being investigated for use in a 
treatment regimen to reduce or eliminate HIV, HIV reservoir in patients. The HIV reservoir is the hidden pool of infected cells that allows the virus to persist even with antiretroviral therapy. And GS9722 was an engineered version of PGT-121 and it was designed to have a longer half-life and reduced immunogenicity. Uh, it's be, it was being studied in combination with other d drugs such as TLR7 agonists uh, to enhance its effectiveness in eliminating the HIV reservoir. It's important to note that GS9722 may still be in uh, development because uh, Gilead has invested money in this and there has been no adverse reports so far. But um, uh, we don't have any information. Uh, ideally, I should have found something on the pipeline page. So friends, this is the uh, challenge with creating HIV content uh, because we don't have a reliable uh, source of information. There might be professional journals where these uh, informations are being uh, pr produced, but they are behind an expensive paywall, uh, which an individual will find it difficult to uh, access, but institutions can pay for it. So that's the situation. But overall, I think uh, Gilead Sciences is doing a lot of work uh, in progressing uh, treatments for HIV. So I'm thinking that uh, if you look at uh, Gilead itself and Weave Healthcare, uh, between the two of them, they have a whole lot of ART, PrEP, and uh, uh, potential uh, uh, treatments that can reduce the HIV reservoir uh, going on in the pipeline. So I'm, I'm optimistic about that. But what I'm a little disappointed about is the market environment in which companies like AGT and Excision uh, may find it very difficult or challenging uh, to get funding. But in that um, aspect, I am feeling more optimistic now because uh, rate cut by the Federal Reserve in uh, September uh, is more or less guaranteed at this point of time because the market is pricing that in. So if that happens, what would happen as a, a twofold action? The first thing is that there is a slight reduction in the interest rate, so it gives a little bit of relief to all these companies which may have uh, funding constraints. The second aspect is that when the first rate cut is uh, announced and with the um, uh, labor market becoming a bit relaxed, uh, the companies may find that uh, overall the market sentiment is uh, looking forward to more rate cuts happening and the market always prices in advance. Therefore, there will be an easing of funding and these companies will start getting funding. In fact, today in the morning when I was doing the market commentary for the ShareTrek uh, Genomic Investment Channel, I was remarking that there's a sectoral rotation of money going from the magnificent seven companies like Apple, Nvidia, Google, Microsoft and all, and getting into small cap companies. So the small cap has shown a lot of jump in the last five or six uh, uh, days. And that means that people are putting money into more risky assets and into more uh, subdued assets. And that has given support to genomic uh, companies which are on the stock exchange because our genomic companies have also uh, picked up a lot of value in the last two days uh, to the extent of 15 or 16 percent. So I'm thinking that this is going to release funds for companies like AGT and Excision. So it's a question of patience, another two months and there'll be funding available and things should start look uh, much better for us going forward. So that's my opinion. And friends, do not despair. Um, all these things will happen. It's a difficult uh, virus, cure is somewhere around the horizon. There is no point being negative. Um, stay positive and stay optimistic. Focus on your regular life and uh, do your achievements. Get your professional achievements, academic achievements in place, uh, your sports achievement or whatever you may have. Focus on those things. Scientists will do the research, investors will put money, and a cure will come. With that, my friends, I'd like to end this video here. I'll catch up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.